So can you see the screen, the lecture and my terminal? Um, the phone size is, is, is okay? Yes, it's fine. Okay. So I will talk about uh, uh, remotes, yes? And uh, uh, first, uh, the concept of uh, what is a remote. So a remote repository is a version, complete version of your project. And uh, it can be hosted in your local computer. For instance, uh, if you don't want uh, to have any uh, uh, commercial or third party uh, platform, right? Uh, then you can uh, uh, copy the entire uh, project, yes, in your local machine or in some machine in your department, for instance. And then uh, all the people or, or the people in your team can work by using this uh, copy of your project, right? And uh, it is also possible to store this project, this repository over the internet, yes? And there are uh, several uh, platforms that you can use for that. So what is the idea? So we have uh, our code, for instance, one of your colleagues, uh, Birgitte could have a, a project and then uh, she puts uh, this project on your local computer or on a platform, as I mentioned before, it can be a GitHub, uh, this is the service that we, I will mention today, but it can also be a Bitbucket or GitLab. There are uh, several uh, platforms that you can use, right? And then the idea is that all the team members can get the exact copy of the project, right? So all of you, all of the people involved in this development will have the same a copy of the project. So what platform to use, Bitbucket, GitLab, GitHub, or any other, yes? It depends on your needs, right? And it depends on the services that the, the these platforms provide you with. For instance, some of them allow you to uh, get a, the so-called private repositories so that only the people in your team can see the, the repository, right? And then uh, uh, the policies for these uh, platforms changes over the, the years. So, so uh, you need to, to read about what they can offer to you, right? So today we will uh, see how to work with GitHub. Okay, so previously in the basic concepts lectures, I mentioned to you that there were three stages of your files, right? In a pictorial way. So we have seen that there is a so-called working directory. Uh, the staging area that is some uh, place to put the changes, yes, as, as you are uh, yeah, modifying your, your uh, files. And this is like a previous area, yes, before you commit the changes, right? And this can help you to uh, correct or yes, to, to modify your files in a soft manner, so to speak, before uh, doing the harder, uh, com uh, harder modifications to your repository and putting them into this uh, committed uh, area the, in the local repository. So these three stages up to now 
have been in your uh, local uh, project, so to speak. And now uh, we will add one additional layer, and this is for the remote repository. So these changes will not be uh, located in your local machine if you choose to put the repository in a, a, a online platform like GitHub, GitLab, or, or any other. Okay. And now you can see that there are some additional commands that uh, you will use. And uh, we will introduce this git push and git uh, fetch and also git pull, right? And this is a pictorial way to uh, visualize what, what will happen. Okay. So uh, now, so how to uh, see what are the remotes in your uh, repository? You can type uh, git remote minus V and this will tell you uh, the information of uh, the, the remotes that are available. So I can try something here. I can try some initial repository. Okay, then this uh, repository is initialized, right? And there is uh, there are no commits up, up to this point. And if I type, for instance, just uh, here, git remote minus v, uh, uh, this will tell you uh, anything, yes? Because uh, the repository is brand new and there, there is no origin assigned, right? So, but imagine that I get a copy of this repository, yeah? So I have this repository here and I get a copy. Then I will see uh, the information of this repository. So how, how to do that? Let me go to my previous directory. And uh, imagine that I have some project, I, I went to the internet, right? And I found that there is a, a repository with some uh, useful code for my research, for instance, right? So this is one example here. And then uh, I found that there is uh, this code, so I can go to this place here. Then you can, I will mention this later on, right? Uh, in more detail. But here you can copy, and it's something similar to what you did with our uh, uh, material for, for this course, right? So, so if you do the git clone, and uh, you write the the name, yes, uh, the, or, or the URL of the project, then you will get a copy. Okay, so you got the copy, and then you can go to the project, right? And now, if if you write this uh, git remote minus v, then you will see some information, not as in the case where the, the repository was brand new, right? Because in this case, because you clone the repository, there is some uh, information for the place where you got it. And it tells you that the remote, it's called origin. This is the default name that Git gives you uh, the remote. 
yes, the default the remote. And uh, yes, but you can name that uh, in any other way as we will see uh, later. So uh, here you see some additional information. For instance, you see here, uh, this is a push option and also a fetch. And this is related to the previous uh, slide that I mentioned to you. So a push uh, means that you will be able uh, or, or not, not, not that you will be able. It means that in principle here, the changes that you do can be or could be sent to the remote, right? But it doesn't mean that you automatically can send the changes to this remote because you need access, yes? Writing access to this repository. So if you, if you can uh, uh, send changes, uh, you have uh, out you, you have been authorized to send changes then you can push and uh, in general it's possible to to to, to have a fetch uh, access if you have also read access to to this uh, uh, repository for instance if it is private i don't think you can uh, fetch these changes right but if it is public, then you can fetch some changes. Okay, so this is how you can display the information, right? And uh, you can also uh, see uh, the information now that you are in this uh, uh, remote. You have you have uh, get a, a copy of this. A repository, then you can see some information, right? Uh, here is the main branch that we have uh, seen before. And here, besides the main branch, you can see the information for the branches in the origin remote, right? So if I go to my previous directory let me see if i can go to which my it was my four okay then in that case uh, well i don't have uh, any commits Meet status. Okay, so I will try one commit. For instance, a readme file. Okay, so then if I type just uh, the graph command that we saw before, then in that case, I only see the master, right? Uh, because uh, uh, I have not assigned a remote. But in the previous repository, I had the, the origin because I cloned the project. Okay, so uh, uh, now uh, you can think about adding a repository, a remote uh, to your project. As in this case here, I don't have any uh, remote added yet, but uh, I can add it. And uh, how to do this, right? So in this initial uh, repository, I have only a one a commit, right? 
And imagine that I want to, to add some a possible repository that is online already. So let me try one. Okay. So, uh, okay, interesting. So I will try a brand new repository because otherwise I could have some issues. Let me create a new one. I created a brand new repository. Then I will initialize this, right? And I will uh, type some initial uh, commit. Or a uh, Sorry, I, well, I, I have initialized this repository, okay? And now that I have initialized, I can see that uh, th there is no uh, remote added, right? And, uh, and this is in my local uh, machine, right? So I went to the internet, and I found that there is a project here by this user. And uh, I think that I can I can uh, use this project yes in my in my uh, work. So let me see. Interesting, I cannot see the the button to clone this. Okay, so I cannot I cannot see here a button for cloning, but uh, instead, sorry for this. I choose I can choose a different uh, project, right? It may be because you are not on the main page. So if you open the file or something, I think you clicked on README file. So just go to the mm -hmm. top level of the course. Okay. Of the our repository. Sorry. Here? You mean here? But there should be one there. What is on the three dots? Let me see. Because I think it I may cannot, be. I cannot see here. Interesting. It may be because it's smaller in width because you have uh, made it so it will fit in the page. Let me see if I can find this pull request course. Interesting. Try make the page wider because I suspect it may be because of that. Or maybe smaller. Oh, interesting. Oh, thank you, Virgitte. Uh, you see, uh, I couldn't see this bottom here, uh, which is uh, in green. And uh, it was because uh, my screen was too big. Right? Uh, but uh, 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 here, if you go to some uh, project on GitHub, you will see these buttons. Yeah? And if you click on this one in particular, 
you will see the methods that you can use to uh, to clone the the repository and there are several in https right you can clone it this way you can copy uh, the name of the repository here and you can also uh, do this one the, uh, with by using ssh and also some a, a command line yes from provided by github so the two that i have used up to now are this https and ssh and uh, this is the one that we will use in this course right because we ask you to to set the ssh keys and uh, here i can copy this link here right and then i can go to my local remote yes that i have initialized here yes it's brand new as you remember and uh, if i want to add this uh, remote to my uh, local machine then i need to a type git remote and add and here uh, there will be the name of the remote you can name it as as you want but uh, the default uh, name is origin and here you can paste yes the name the, the url that you copy from uh, github yeah and this will in principle, add the remote. Let's see how it goes, right? So it was added, yeah? And then uh, what can I do now? It has been added, yeah? So here I mentioned uh, previously what are the protocols that you can use so uh, these platforms uh, in particular i have seen some information from github yes uh, that they update the preferred uh, protocol for for uh, uh, getting the repository so but in this course we will use the ssh so now for this repository you can see that i can uh, fetch it means that i can get uh, the the changes from the repository and also i can uh, push some uh, uh, changes that i do on my local repository here right? okay so this means here that I will be uh, getting the changes from uh, this repository, right? So I can get the changes and I can also uh, put some changes in a one-to-one a, a -to -one way, right? Yossi is one communication uh, way. So, it also means, yeah, uh, there is a question. Yes, are you? Uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, when you add the remote, uh, is it the same as cloning? Uh, because, for example, when you add the remote, do you also fetch the readme file? And uh, that's, a, that's a good question, right? Because here, uh, you see, I, I have only uh, added the repository. So I, if I check, oops, oops, I, I chat here. If I check here, the content, you won't see anything. Yes, I just yeah. added the repository because uh, I will show you how to get the changes uh, right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and okay. now uh, if you type, uh, uh, for instance, git status, yes, there is nothing here. Mm -hmm. Yes, just, just the, re the remote. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. I will tell you okay. what what yeah. what to do with this uh, uh, situation. Mm -hmm. All so, right. Uh, yeah, and then uh, now this is 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 interesting because uh, here you can see that I could uh, add the repository. Yeah. And uh, in principle, if I have the, the permissions, right, I can also put the changes as I mentioned. But you need to set the, the permissions and, and in particular for the SSH protocol is through the SSH keys. Yeah. And uh, okay, so this is just one way. So it means that uh, this is only me that I can fetch changes and also put changes, right? But uh, it works for my uh, uh, own repository, right? And uh, it's it's okay, but maybe, right? Uh, you went through uh, the internet as I did here, right? I went through the internet and I found a, a repository from another uh, person. Yes, as it is here. Yeah, and then uh, uh, how to how to deal with this situation where you don't have uh, permissions, right? So, uh, and you want to to get the changes from. Uh, uh, the repository from another uh, developer. So uh, you can do this by setting some, where is my window, here it is, okay. So it means by setting an upstream uh, remote. So uh, imagine here, you can work with your own repository, it's okay. You set this repository by yourself and then you are working with this, you commit changes and get the changes, it's, it's okay. But now uh, the situation becomes more involved, yes, if the, repository was from another person, right? So what can I do if the repository comes from another uh, developer, right? For instance, here, uh, this repository uh, is not my repository. Yes, it, it doesn't have my username. It has another username. So what can I do to work with this repository? Well, in this case, I can, I can get the so-called uh, fork, right? Fork, uh, uh, similar to, I, I guess, to what you do with, uh, you try to grab something, right? So in that case, I can, I can do the following, right? I can take this uh, URL, and then in my, when I am logging into this uh, GitHub, what's happening here? Okay, I'm logging here. Uh, as you see, I need to use uh, uh, two uh, different uh, browsers because if I log into another account, then I will be logged out. Yes. So, but here I'm logged into my GitHub account, right? And then I can uh, go to the repository from this user, right? And notice that this is the repository from this user here, but I'm logging into this, uh, into my own account. Right. So what I could do is to go to this bottom here, yeah, and then I can get the, the so-called fork. 
Yeah. And if I if I do the fork for this uh, particular uh, project, then it checks if the re repository name yes is available on my uh, own account. Yes, and then I can uh, create the, the fork. So what is and now you see I have this copy of the other developer code yeah, into my own uh, account. So what is the idea of doing this? So this is because, for instance, uh, maybe I don't know uh, the developer uh, Bob, right? He's working in a different institution. I don't know this uh, research group. They are doing some nice code that is public. And I cannot, in principle, uh, send my changes and get the changes from them, right? Because I have to, I don't have permission. I don't know these people, right? So what I can do is, uh, as I showed you before, I can get the fork from the, the project, yes? And then I can uh, get the changes here and send changes from, from, from this project because this is uh, my own project, right? So I have permissions for doing that. And uh, this is just with one upstream. You can also get uh, other upstreams uh, in case that, that there are other, even, even other uh, uh, developers, external developers that are also doing some uh, useful changes to the code, right? And you need to get updated with that. So uh, this is why you may think about uh, uh, working with multiple uh, remotes, right? And uh, how to add an additional uh, remote? It's the same, just use git remote add and the name of, of the other remote. In particular, because in this case, I am getting the code from a different person. Uh, some people call it the uh, upstream, but you can call it uh, uh, as you want, right? And then if you add an additional remote, you will see the information of that remote when you add the, when you type the, the graph uh, command. So here, this main will be your uh, repository, yes? And then you will have the origin that is in principle yours, yes, but it's on online or an, on another uh, device, yes, or another uh, folder. And the upstream is a, a secondary uh, remote, and you can have as many as you want. So for large uh, codes, yes, uh, there, this is a common situation. Right? So, okay, so uh, it was for the adding multiple remotes, but here, if you remember, and this was a question, so I don't have anything, yes? But I have added uh, the remote. And yes, and, and because I have added this uh, remote, then I can get the changes, right? And, uh, and, and also, uh, put some changes on the remote. So uh, there is something uh, that you need to uh, consider, especially as in my case that I'm working with a relatively uh, old version of Git. Let me see, it's 2.25. 
And if I go to the project that what I what I clone, no, what I uh, uh, took the remote name, yes, you will see that uh, the name of the branch is is main, right? So if you just uh, try to get the changes, you will see some uh, upstream naming, yes, that uh, you need to correct because here there is some branch that is called main, but here in your local repository, because again, I'm using an old version of Git. So the name of the branch, the main branch was, was called master. So in order to avoid this uh, situation, I will type uh, here git branch minus m and main. Yes, you call it in the same way. Those interesting. Okay, so I need to, I will make a commit. Let me see. Uh, well, uh, it seems that I cannot do it, this uh, command here, renaming the main because uh, uh, there is no reference to the master yet. I need to commit something. Uh, let me see, I can add some file like they call first. Now, let me check the status, okay. And uh, I can now do this git uh, branch minus n main. And now it works, yes, because there is a reference for this master branch, which was not present. Okay, and now, that I, I have this and I have also the remote added. Then I can uh, uh, pull, I can, I can uh, uh, get the information from the remote, right? And uh, this means that I can, uh, first I can, I can show you this, this uh, command, git fetch, right? And git fetch, oops, interesting. Oh, okay, interesting. I have no permission for this. Okay, it seems that somehow I don't have permission for this repository, which is interesting. Or maybe, okay. So this is something that you can uh, uh, face when you try to do this thing. I I will uh, stop sharing to write here my my key, and then I will uh, share again. Yes. Okay, so, okay, now let me share. So when you saw this uh, screen asking me for a password, I had to type my password for, for the SSH key. And uh, 
uh, in the setup for the SSH key that uh, was included in the setup, right? In, in, in the guidelines for, for the setup in HackMD. So you are required to use a password, right? So SSH keys offer the option for not using a password, but this is a bad practice and, and this can uh, lead you some, some to, to problems, right? Because anyone that has your, your keys will be able to, uh, to log in into your accounts. So when SSH key uh, asks you for a password, then you should try type a, a good password there. And that's what, what the, this box was asking me about. So once I, I type the correct the password, then you see that then I got the changes, right? And the, uh, they were put into some origin branch. So if I check now, let me see here. If I check now the status, there is nothing. And uh, here there is a first file, right? So I can type uh, uh, the graph uh, command. And uh, here you see something interesting with the graph command. Notice that here is my uh, local repository. And uh, I have the first file. Yes, this is the one that I wrote before. And in the remote, yes, I have this readme file, which is not yet here, right? But uh, uh, what is this thing that the uh, graph command is, is showing me? This is my local uh, uh, copy or my local repository. And this tells me that uh, when I type git fetch, I got some additional branch, right? But this branch refers to the main that is on the remote, right? It's not in my local uh, repository yet. So git fetch, as the name suggests, brings all the the information all all the the commits uh, everything from the remote repository but uh, it doesn't put the changes in the the uh, uh, local repository yet so it it's just a copy of all the branches or all, all all the information on the remote but it doesn't try to put the changes in my local repository. Is it clear? Just one question here. What if yes, you check please. out, what if you check out for any of these hashes, do you then get the files in your, uh, in your tree? Yes, you can check out you to these branches, yes? But they are not in your in your local repository. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, this is a copy of the remote. They are already there, right? But they are not uh, visible in your local branches. Mm. And just uh, what's what's the difference between fetch and uh, push? Uh, a fetch is as as I mentioned. You will bring the all the information from the remote branches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that that's it. That that's the point. And and I will show you right now what is uh, what are the other commands, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank and you. Now uh, imagine that uh, well, uh, I have I have all the 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 branches from the remote in in already just uh, uh, like a downloaded in your in your repository. How can I get? these changes visible in my local repository, then I can type uh, 
yeah, git pull, right? Interesting. Git pull. And then, uh, well, I will type this git pull origin and the, the name of the branch. Okay, so. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Uh, uh, Git pool in principle should bring uh, the all the 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 branches, but present in your local. Uh, a directory, right? So, but in this case, I made uh, some mistake, and I think uh, it is related to the initial uh, setting. And uh, let me see. Uh, yes, uh, Pierre. Yes, uh, if you want to. Can uh, you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes, sorry, sorry, I had a problem with my microphone. Um, I didn't really see the, the interest of fetch because if I understand well you don't have a copy of the file on your local repository the, the copy so, let me see if i explain it well the copy is already there in your local repository but you have two uh, git has a, a two two uh, 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 let's say two ways to deal with these uh, branches one are are the local branches in your in your local repository and there are other branches will reflect the same the thing yes but they are from the remote so when you do a fetch you bring all the branches yes from the remote in your local repository but you will have two things the local branches that you are working on and mm -hmm. the remote branches yes and basically fetch only brings the changes it doesn't do anything okay yep. okay and uh, let me see so uh here i have the issue that i mentioned previously and essentially as you can see here uh, the problem was that I had a, an existing repository, right? Where I did some changes, yeah? And uh, because of that, I did some initial changes and then I added a, a, a origin, a remote, yes? I added by hand a remote. Then it is telling me, that the two branches have uh, separated uh, 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 histories, right? They, 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 they diverge, yes? So uh, Git doesn't know how to deal with this situation. And this is some uh, issue that you will face, for instance, if you start working on some project, right? And then uh, you decide to add a remote, yes, manually. Then of course the, the the histories from the remote could be very different from what you have done. And Git will tell you about this uh, problem as you are seeing here. So I think I can set this uh, 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 upstream here, but this will tell uh, uh, put me into a different uh, project here, a problem, sorry. So, and what I, uh, but uh, I will not try uh, to do this. 
yes, because I think uh, this will be another uh, situation. Let me see. Let me see what can I do here. Interesting. Okay, so uh, let me do uh, something uh, different. As I said here, the histories of the repositories diverge because I was do I was working on a local repository actively, then I just added the origin, right? And this can cause some a uh, problem. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I will not go through these details because it can get uh, trickier at this point, and I I can confuse you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I will, yeah, yeah. Is there any questions, yes, uh, Pierre? Uh, thank you. I think that uh, <laughs> I have to get used with uh, all this, but I, I already have this. I already face this this, uh, this problem. <laughs> yeah. So yes. Uh, so it's a yes, it's a classical <laughs> problem. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, so uh, this is uh, typically uh, uh, an issue where <laughs> it's not always very clear for me when uh, I want to solve this uh, such yeah. things. So it's. But I guess we will explain this uh, later, or we will see. Yeah, I, I think uh, we can discuss this. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, one to one, or I can put it on on the on the chat. Yeah, because uh, I think it involves some uh, additional steps. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I will I will do something uh, different here. And uh, here, let me see. I will. A copy this thing here, uh, the name of the SSH. Right. I, I don't want to take you too much time. Huh? You can proceed. <laughs> no, no, it's it's okay. Well, I, I will follow a different path. Right? Okay. And then I will uh, go back to, to that issue later on. Okay. Thank yeah. you. So let me see. I can, I will do something different. Like we clone. I will clone an existing repository just from my account. Okay. And then let me see how I am in time. Yes, it's okay. So then I can go to this repository. Okay. Now uh, I cloned this uh, repository and uh, this local repository should be uh, exactly the same as uh, uh, this one, right? So uh, here uh, on GitHub, right? Because this is my account, then I can do some uh, manual modifications. And uh, this is similar to, for instance, if another uh, user made uh, modifications to this uh, uh, file. And let me see, I can do this here. So I will just uh, add some line here. Uh, and here I can put something like a date of That line, something like that. Just one one uh, line. And uh, here, once I do this, I can write some uh, message for the commit, right? And then here, I will just leave this and and add this red line, right? And here, uh, basically on GitHub. I can commit the message and, and do some any modifications, right? Uh, you see, it is reflected here. 
on the uh, repository that is uh, on GitHub. So these changes are not, of course, reflected on my uh, uh, local copy. Yeah. If you do a Git graph, you will see that the main is synchronized with the uh, main from the remote. Yes. And the remote is this one here. And also there is a, the origin head, right? So uh, here, now uh, the command that I explained you uh, before, if I do git uh, fetch, first of all, if you go to the readme file, you will see that the change well, it's not yet included, right? And uh, if you type git uh, was this, the graph command, then you will see that the head lies uh, uh, behind the remote branches, right? In particular, you see that the main is behind by just one commit. And this was the update readme that maybe another user uh, did, but in this case, it, it was uh, myself, right? Okay, so um, this was the git fetch command. And how to get these changes uh, into my local uh, directory. So I can put a git a pool, yes, which basically uh, brings the changes from the remote, right? But in addition to this, it merges the changes into my local uh, branches. So now if I type git uh, graph, so you will see that uh, the merge was done, right? Mm -hmm. So, and now the head is uh, synchronous, is synchrony with the main from the origin. And uh, yes, and now if you check the readme file, then you will see that the change is, is, is already there. So these are two commands. One is for fetching the branches from the remote, and the other is for uh, pulling the changes. And pull means essentially uh, fetch the, ch the changes and then do the merging, yeah? It does uh, the two things automatically. So, so, so thank you for this uh, clear uh, demonstration. So it means that it's it's preferable to proceed in two step. First, uh, perform a git a git fetch, and then git pull. Yeah, yeah, that, that uh, yes, this is recommended. Uh, okay. You you can do you can do the the first the git the, the fetch. And uh, it means that it will just put the, the, the remote branches and then you yeah. can do some git uh, diff to see mm -hmm. the changes okay. uh, before uh, merging. Yeah. yeah. And, and okay. then, yeah, uh, just when you are uh, uh, sure that you won't, you won't introduce anything uh, uh, wrong, then you can do the merging. Yeah. And you can Thank do you that. Much. Yeah. And yeah, you can do that with the git merge. Yeah, if you do that, then uh, you will merge uh, after fetching, or yeah. you you can do git pull, and this means doing the, the two things together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank so, you very much. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So and now, uh, so for instance, imagine that I am uh, another user, and then I want to introduce this uh, final modifications. Yeah. So I introduce one line, yeah. And then I add this uh, change and then I commit. And then I put to final page. Okay, now if I do the git graph, 
then you see that the main is uh, one commit uh, ahead, yes, from the from the remote branches. Yeah? So and how how can I uh, uh, put these changes on the remote? Yeah. So I can do now git uh, push. Yeah. And uh, uh, yes, if by default uh, git will do git push origin and the name of the branch. Yeah where you are working or yes uh, it depends on depends on the on the settings but in general uh, git will do this git push or in main if you don't put anything yes and if you you your uh, repository uh, it was cloned yeah? so if i do git push then it says well i i uh, uploaded these changes yeah uh, into the remote now if i refresh this thing now you see that uh, the, the change is already there so push is for sending your changes to the remote yep. so i think uh, i have talked for about one hour uh, do you want a break right now of 10 minutes maybe Let me see. So I think, uh, yes, some people say that it's a break. Well, we can come back at, at uh, uh, 11, 20, uh, 11.30.